Hi everyone, it's Hobonichi time again. <laughs> um, yes, this is my third order. Um, sorry, not sorry. So there were a couple of things that we decided to grab extra. So I thought I have to show you and it's come early. It was, oh my goodness. It was supposed to come um, next week and it's here already. So let's dive in. I think we'll start with these since they are obvious. Let's open them up. I loved these so much when they came out um, in April, well, for the April start, and didn't get them because I was getting nothing else. Um, <laughs> oh my goodness. I've never seen the little Hobonichi logo in white on these before in any of the videos or even online. I love it. It's so nice. It's like silicon. Um, okay, so obviously these are the draw pouches. Uh, this is the uh, small draw pouch and this is the Anne draw pouch. Love this size, both of these sizes. Let's look inside the Anne first. Take all these little bits out. So this is um, great for pencils and things. So it's got some card in here, which I think is just to help you see those colors better in here as well. It always comes with one of these little cards that shows you inside the types of things you can put in there. So we've got this um, zippered part here and in inside here we have little elastic loops so you can hold like pens and scissors and things in there if you wanted to um, or anything kind of loose that you don't want floating around and over here we have the mesh pocket at the bottom we have another one here and then we have the long one at the top and it goes all the way through so these are great i have one set up for work remind me to take you through that one day um, and it has all the pens that I'm using and some other um, bits and pieces in here that uh, like sticky notes and other things that I don't use super often but I like to have with me. These, I don't know, I love them so much and they're so, oh there's a pocket on the back as well. They're so my aesthetic with the rainbow that I think I might use them for um, in, the back, in the handbag to take with me and potentially for um toiletries or emergency items like pills and tissues and things like that all right this one uh i just love this size i think it's my favorite of all of them um and i'll just show you what it what it suggests you keep in here so we've got your phone credit cards cables uh, credit um id cards and pens and things pills as well this is great it's like a large one and that it has this big pocket here at the, on either side and then you have card slot pockets here which is kind of cool there's tons of them same on this side and then you have these two pockets this one in the middle and you have a zippered pocket as well and on the zippered pocket there are two more like credit card pouches but they're much longer so these fit your phone easy like tons of room for the phone. How much does my phone match this, by the way? Oh, I might have to move this to here. Okay. <laughs> um, and it also fits your Hobonichi Weeks, which I love that this fits in here. So it just pops in any of these pockets. I don't know about the middle one. I think it does. Yeah, it fits in any of the pockets in here. In fact, you can fit two or three in if you really wanted to. Um, so I have this one week's that is for my health journal and I like to take it with me when I go to see the doctor. So if I have, um, this in my handbag with bits and pieces in, uh, which could be things like, um, medication and, um, you know, earbuds, all that kind of stuff. It's a pouch to house everything. I love it. And the back has a big pocket on it as well. So good for travel too, of course, on airplanes and things. I think I've used, yes, I've used the pink, the pink sparkle one 
on flights as well so these are great i love this kind of chunky red zip that they've got as well it's really different from all the others the others are kind of pretty and delicate i've got one here in the um, micro or pocket maybe i can't remember and you can see it's the beautiful usual hobonichi fabric it's got the nice um, gold or in some cases silver zip and the kind of leather pull on them and they're lovely but there's something about this fun rainbow plastic design that i just love so that's that let's see what we have in here oh i'm intrigued oh yes that's right all right so we've got deco rush we've got the book um tabs a page marker some other tabs and then here i've got an a6 cover oh two of those um one's for me and one's for trish so i'll put trish to the side and i've got a new a5 cover these are just the blank just the clear ones with no patterns um always good to have a couple of spares and actually i don't have many um plain ones i've just got some uh, patterned ones which you might have seen in my previous uh, video where I walked through all my Hobonichi boxes and what was in them so they're always good to have as spares <sighs> page keeper so I usually have the little little version in my weeks uh, but I thought I would try one for my cousin I am going to put a cousin in my in a cover but maybe around August or so I usually take it out because it's getting chunky and I just like to have it on the you know uncovered so being able to put this in the back to hold it closed is super handy um, I also got these little clips so they're these Coco Fusion um, sticky notes and you can see hopefully that there's two um, a pink and a yellow and then this is a replacement to go in there it's just a um, adhesive back that you can just swap it out when this one gets empty and you can just buy these pieces and you can get them from um, just stationery shops I think uh, just to refill that and it's got a clip so you could where my weeks go you could clip it to the front of your weeks or your cousin or whatever you like and just have that with you always so that's pretty handy i really like that and i've never bought one before so i really wanted to try it i've got the page um index tabs and that you can see i've got green and blue i've also got an orange set um in my in my stash as well and i wanted to try these this year i usually use cute coffee monsters co or something like that but I wanted to have something a bit more demure, shall we say, um, for my work planner. Uh, and I just got one of each color just to try them out. Our work um, colors are orange and blue. So I kind of thought I might mix them, but it's gonna be my spy family Hon. And I don't wanna put ugly two different colors on, on that. Um, so yeah, I'll probably just put the blue or the green, I think anyway these are cool um i've wanted them forever and yeah i'm glad i have those uh, we've got another package over here but let's just look at the deco rush you can see i've got um two of each two sushi and two um yumi kitagishi so i'll put the spares away the spares are a gift for trish don't tell her <laughs> and um these are the two that i've got so i've never had deco rush before can you imagine on the box it does give you some little examples to show you what they look like um, but I'm gonna do a whole row of them I guess I'm gonna do it in my weeks okay so I know there's a trick to doing this and we'll see if I'm any good at it I'm not even sure what direction it goes I think this one goes down the page but maybe they all do let's just go down the page Okay, they look good. Nothing bad happened there. 
um, they're so cute and they just melt into the page you can feel them they've got a bit of a kind of satiny feel I guess so we want to get back to this one let me see All right, so I haven't got a full loop yet, so there must be tons. I'm not going to go any further. Oh, it's the next one. Oh, no, it's not. Wow, there's so many on here. I won't do any more, though, because I don't want to waste them. All right, let's try the Yumi Kitagishi ones as well. I might do them on this side. They are adorable. Look at them. Look at this little face here and the crocodile. I do have the little gifts covers from last year. Um, I didn't get them this year. Oh my goodness, this little crocodile. They're so cute. Ah, oh, fantastic. And no trouble. So I really just held it down this way. And in the first instance, I was putting my finger too close to the end as well, which was stopping it a little bit, but it didn't hurt it. Um, so I just have to be mindful of putting my finger back here on this little finger grip rather than down here where the tape's moving. But otherwise, look how cool they are. Oh, I really love them. Just a little bit of extra something to your page. I've got so many books for next year that, you know, it doesn't hurt to have a few different um, deco ideas. So those are the Deco Rush. All my other bits and pieces there. And lastly, I got this big package of books so you know that um they're doing blank tomorrow of a paper this year so i decided to get two each of the a5 and the a6 okay so i have two a5 and two a6 notebooks they've got a nice gray cover on them unlike the bright yellow one um and and it's simply black blank I should say, tomorrow of a paper. So, well, it's very nice and smooth. Um, I'll be doing um, pen tests, and I think all of the books um, now have the um, suns and paper. So, now that they're all the same, I think, I think there are a couple of notebooks that are the dotted, um, sorry, gridded, that have still the old paper in them, but. These are all new and all my books have new sands and paper as well, my planners. So I'm going to be um, pen testing in here, I think. And the A6 one, exactly the same, but obviously A6. Um, I don't really have a major plan for these, but I just liked the idea of having some blank ones. I do have the grid ones as well already, a few of those that I found in my stash. So um, handy to have them. It's really lovely paper. Um, I could do some ink swatching in here, I think, uh, with fountain pen ink to see how that goes. Um, but just a space to play and um, have them for the future. So that's it. It's a teeny tiny haul today, but um, I really, really wanted these. They sell out so quickly and I jumped on and saw that they were available. I did want the little pocket one as well, but they didn't have it, unfortunately. So... Um, these are my two favorite sizes anyway. I don't really need any. I didn't need these, let's be honest. But oh my goodness, how cute are they? And like I said, I think they'll end up in, well, I think this one's going to end up in my handbag with all the bits and pieces in it, all the little um, things that end up floating around the bottom of my bag. I do have a thousand pouches, but um, I like these because they have those layers of organization in them with all the pockets. I think that's super handy. And the fact that I can fit my weeks in here as well is just, it's just a little bit of a game changer for me. I really love it. And then this one may stay in the stationery stash because I've got so many pens, it hurts. <laughs> um, and I'll probably get more pens. So I'm not sure, haven't decided, but definitely needed to get them as soon as I saw that they were online. Also, the Deco Rush, um, it was. It said this was sold out, but when I went in to buy the sushi, it was available. So I grabbed it. You know, on the on the main web page, it said sold out. 
of the Yumi Kitagishi. And when I went in to buy them, um, buy the sushi one, this one was showing as in stock. So I just tried my luck and managed to snag two of them for the two of us. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Very excited. And note to self, they go across the page, not down the page, just so I know for the future. Very excited to try all this cool stuff. Everything's quite colourful except these, of course. But um, yeah, it's it's so much fun this time of the year. Oh, I found one more thing. Hang on, wait. I also just couldn't resist and had to get this A6 pencil board of the llamas. They are so cute. I just can't even. And the pink, um, of course, is beautiful. So this is uh, Keiko Shibata um, pencil board. Fabulous. Love it. I am in oh, so many A6s this year that next year that I will definitely have a place for this. It just brightens up anything, I think. Just pop it in there and you see that beautiful pink whenever you open your book. Um, yeah, I love it. Anyway, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Let me know what you think. Um, just spoiler alert, there might be one more box coming from the Hobonichi store. <laughs> and I think next time I'll get a box. I'm wondering if I might get a small box because I've only ever got the big ones before. So we'll see what happens. But yeah, there was something else that I just went, oh man, I'm just going to have to get that. So sorry, but not sorry. Very excited. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of my teeny tiny haul here and I will see you in the next one. Thanks, everyone. Bye.